start showing everyone our morning cuddles. Because everyone misses you. You're my original baby. Yeah. <laughs> everyone misses you. Stop being camera shy. Look at those eyes. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I think it's like a Tuesday. Yeah, it's a Tuesday. <laughs> You've probably noticed that I've just been kind of going room to room in my house, just making sure that everything is put together. I feel like we've been so busy lately that we haven't had time to really go through and deep clean and organize and just make every room make sense. We did the closet first and then the kitchen, but I really wanted to pay attention to my bedroom. I feel like it just needs a good deep cleaning. It's wash day. I need to dust all the shelves, the tops of pictures, I guess. And I have a few newish decor pieces that I want to kind of style in this room and maybe we can shop my house and, you know, style in tables because they're looking a little uh, not so great. Also over on TikTok, I'm doing 20 days of thrift flips and then even more DIYs after that. Um, so my TikTok is at McKenna Lee, like my other social media. So I'm going back to thrift flips that I've already done on my channel that I absolutely love and then adding in some new ones for some quick, you know, little TikTok. So I just posted this one. This was day one because this is by far my favorite thrift flip that I've ever done from the Kodak carousel. We got some cleaning to do, some washing to do, and some decorating to do. broken TV, the one that's going out. The one from our living room, from the living room maker, we're still sitting in the hallway. But I can't pick it up myself, so we've been kind of putting it off. These socks make me so happy. Look, they're little Kinsley's. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever, ever seen? That looks just like Kinsley, right? I need to put all of my makeup away. have gotten so picked over and Kinsley Kinsley loves to drink her water on my side table like I don't know why but she loves it and if she doesn't have it up there she'll drink out of my water cup these art books are my favorite I got these at a thrift store they're all different colors like this and then there's three more on the other side maybe since I unplugged it I can <laughs> beg Romeo to help me remove it maybe maybe would you have a few minutes to help me swap the tvs until we can find a place to recycle the other one of course are you being sarcastic yeah. okay. let's do it So you guys are in for a huge treat. Kinsley hates the vacuum cleaner. Hates. She's about to get. Are you gonna be a good girl with the vacuum? You gonna be a good girl? Kinsley, you said you were gonna be a good girl. that bad you weren't that bad okay did the vacuuming and then also mopped a little bit very fresh in here so I have been wanting to get an extra sheet set for our bed we also have a guest bedroom in the other like it's like a fold-out couch in the other room in my office 
um, that I have no duvet cover. I just have like sheets that fit that. I don't have a duvet cover or anything like that for it. Funny thing is I've actually been looking at Brooklinen's sheets for a while. A friend of mine actually has it. She had like a, a mixed sheet set, different comforter, and then she had like a pattern underneath and it was so pretty, but she got them at Brooklinen. So when they reached out to sponsor this video, I was like, oh, yes, you absolutely can because I wanted them. We got some new sheets. And right now, Brooklinen is offering us $20 off any order over $100. You can just click the link in my description box and enter code EXO McKenna at checkout to get that $20 off $100 or more. And they have amazing five-star reviews. So people definitely love them. So I can't wait to try these out. So if you guys haven't heard of Brooklinen yet, they are a company based out of Brooklyn. Brooklinen, their name is so cool. And their literal mission is exactly what I've been looking for. Something of really great quality that's really comfortable that you don't want to just snuggle into at a really good price too. And their whole philosophy too is that people really deserve simple, beautiful essentials for their home without that luxury price point. So I got their Luxe Hardcore Sheet Bundle. So it comes with a duvet cover, the sheets and four pillowcases. And by getting the bundle, you save 25% on them. So you could do them all the same or you could do them all different, which is actually pretty cool. So these are 480 thread count sateen sheets. I know. <laughs> which make them super warm and buttery. Great fiber for like year round. Oh my gosh, they feel, oh, they feel cool. Ooh, I love that. They also have like a little bit of a, a, a luminous like finish. I feel like that's what's great about these sheets too is that you can mix and match them. So you can match your decor. So you can bring in a pattern if you want or you can mix up the colors or go neutral like I did. Their options are endless. Do you love them? I'm gonna throw these in the washer and dryer just to get them nice and fluffy and clean so that we can make the bed. You know, sometimes when you see something online, you're not sure if it's gonna be that exact color when you get it in. And this is so true to the color online. So definitely shop from the comfort of your own home or bed and get some new sheets. It has gotten so cloudy outside and it started to rain. And I wanted to make my, my drawers today, but I do love the rain. So that'll give us an opportunity to have a good night's sleep on the new sheets and then let you guys know a complete review in the morning. And then we can make the drawers tomorrow and finish up a little bit of decorating. I will see you guys in the morning. morning guys we had a very good night's sleep <laughs> i can definitely report that these sheets are very very soft and very very cozy and they're just also really pretty so i am going to get myself together because we have more stuff to do in here today i want to build the drawers for the side table decorate the side table i'll see you guys in just a second okay i feel like if i get ready just a little bit just put some mascara on a little bit of blush a little bit of spf I'm more productive during the day, so I've been trying to do that lately. Um, so, got the bed made too, and I wanna put some of my, obviously my pillows on there. So I made these, three of these, out of European grain sack linen. Got one sheet of it for about $40 at the flea market and made three. I also made these. <laughs> made these out of mud cloth that I also got at flea market. Do you guys also karate chop your pillows? Or I, f I have a feeling that that's kind of going out of style a little bit, but if you don't, they kind of look not put together in a little bit, but maybe not. I just have to grab it by the corner and tussle it. Let's talk about our drawers for a minute. So I've only done this one other time and that was in my vanity over there and it uh, came out pretty well. So these are 16 inches deep. So you want to go down a size in your little sliders for your drawers. Um, so I'm gonna do 14 inches, which we have to go to Lowe's, like a five inch drawer, like this big. So we gotta go to Lowe's. Look up from your telescope, take me on this journey home. I don't wanna wait, no. Lay me down behind the moon, tell me you'll be home. So some of these. Day. And we need the 14 inch. These lumber, are cheaper. All 19, lumber, all 19. But they're too big. 18. We could be floating on a lake. As long as I'm safely in your arms. And it don't really matter. And this is five and a half inch wood that we need for the front of each of the drawers. This makes me sad. So here's what 
they look like. So this one goes on your furniture piece and then this one goes on your drawer and then it like slides in like that. And then I also got the same handles that I have on my vanity so that kind of everything a little bit matches. Okay, so we need to measure a few things. So then we need to measure the full length here. I think why I've gotten the hang of all of this woodworking is I'm not good at math, but I'm good at puzzle and the measurements that make up that puzzle. So it hasn't steered me wrong yet. So I kind of, I made a plan on exactly what I needed. That's what we're, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so I need to go get my saw and we need to head outside. I cannot wait until we have a house with a backyard so that I do not have to set up my table every time. Okay, so I got all of my stuff I need here, my measurements, my saw, my pocket hole maker, my ruler, my drill, my drill bits, and some wood glue. Enjoy this little montage of me making a a drawer <laughs> look at my glasses you always want to make sure I always double check to make sure that my measurement was right this is gonna be the front perfect see how it's got a little bit of a little bit of space on each side if I can hold it right right can say this is my pocket hole maker it makes really finished little holes for joint pieces to like join together and like fit together but you don't have any like screws 20 inch pieces of wood we're gonna get pocket holes we're gonna blah, 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 blah. we're gonna put pocket holes in the 20 inch long pieces of wood why is that so hard for me to say see they look like that now we're gonna take our pocket hole screws and screw the sides together like that So also normally I would go back and plug these little holes with some pieces of wood that they have for pocket holes, but I don't have any and I don't want to go back to Lowe's. So I think for now it'll be fine. I can always go back and do it later. We just got to put our plywood on top. Ben, look. I made a drawer. Oh god, I thought you could drop it on me. No, look. That's cool. Can I hold it? Still drying. You like it? Yeah, it's cool. Why do I not remember what these are called? Drawer. I keep wanting to call them a shelf. One shelf. Oh, no. ah! One drawer. Two drawers. Look how good they look. We still need to stain them, obviously, and then put the handles on them. We did it, guys. We made a drawer. <laughs> I think I did it. I think I did it. Okay, we need to do the same thing on the other side. Do we do it? Do we do it? Do we do it? Oh. Ah! We didn't do it. We didn't do it. We did not do it. What did I do wrong? It's too high. Why? Oh, I forgot to leave the quarter inch. Oh. Okay. Okay. Motor truth again. Yes, here is obviously doesn't have the handle on it. That's nice. That's so nice and so much more useful. Drawers are a little, I'm lying now. Drawers are a little difficult. Everything has to be perfect. You know, the measurements, there's like no wiggle room. So we have to stain these. Also, we have to put our new handles on. I want to drill the holes before I stain it just so that I can go ahead and assemble everything when it might still be a little wet. It's half of 22 and an eighth. A little over 11. I always have to remember to do this very straight. That is not straight. You see that? That's not straight. <sighs> Got it straight. We've got to stain these babies. Here's my problem. So this was stained with special walnut. That was like my favorite stain for a really long time. And then all of a sudden, when I started buying more cans of special walnut stain, it got yellower and yellower and not not so ashy like they changed the formula and i that's not that's not good so i'm gonna stain it special walnut and then i'm probably gonna have to go back and like um mix a stain maybe i don't i'm not sure i'm gonna have to research that more here's a special walnut 
And let me stir it really good. That could have been the issue that I wasn't stirring it well, but I've tried this a lot. Even my friend Danielle said, you, I know you love that special walnut stain, but it's so yellow for me. And I was like, really? I've never had that issue. And bam, I bought a new one and I had that issue. So let's see. I'm gonna go get some gloves too. So I don't get it on me. Let's, let's see, let's test it out here. Yeah, I mean, I think it might be hard for you guys to see on the camera, but it, in person, it is yellower. It looks okay though. I think it might match. I should probably take these outside. <laughs> they kind of smell, but it does look pretty that color. I think the stain is actually looking pretty good. Oh. oh wow. Wow, the stain actually matches pretty good. So it actually looks pretty similar. I just need to, where I hammered in a nail right here just to hold it in place while it glued, I just need to hit that in a little more and put some um, putty and then stain over it. But that's not bad, huh? Other side, go and hit. <laughs> I didn't screw it in all the way. Oh no. That could have been bad. Okay. Yes. Look how pretty that drawer is. So. Yeah, I just need to go back and do that. I'll do that later. That looks good. Okay, now we gotta do something about these tops. I really like that it's just books down here. Obviously this won't be here. So I have this spiced candle that I just got and it smells so good. I like to do a book. I got these swans at a flea market before quarantine at the Ventura flea market and I love them. A little swan moment. Yeah, I have this guy. I made these coasters in a video. I like to put candles on them. I also have this candle, which I really like in here. Maybe I'll bring this one back into the living room. Simple? I don't know, I think it's kind of nice. Romeo's side needs a little bit of attention. We have the same little plant. And this is just a cereal magazine. We'll do the book on the opposite side. I also like for us to have coasters in here because I don't, we, I bring water in here at night just to have water by my bedside at night. Um, so I actually grab these from the living room. Keep it super simple. This might have been 11 years ago, this picture. Isn't that crazy? I'll move this one into the living room because we really, we only need one in there because um, we have some others. We went to Target last night too late and I got another one of those hearth and hand baskets that I have up here to go here because I put all of my sunglasses in this little bag just to get them organized. I don't know where the other ones are. I have more than that. And then these, we will do that paint technique on. I probably won't do it today. I need to start working on another project and they'll be prettier than that. I don't like those like that. Oh my gosh, so much better. Everything's dust free. Got a little side table, little moment here, new bedding, new Kinsley, just kidding. <laughs> this will look a lot better once those are painted and just refreshed, right baby? <sighs> oh my goodness, I'm actually pretty tired. What's Kins Kinsley barking, what's she barking at? We did kind of a lot, I hope you guys enjoyed cleaning and doing a little DIY with me. Don't forget to check out Brooklyn and click the link in the description to go and shop, mix and match some patterns or colors and get a, you know, Lux Hardcore Bundle and save $20 off any order over $100 using code EXO McKenna. So that link will be in the description. This is the cream color that I got and I love it. It's beautiful. We've slept very well last night. So what do you think of the new bedding? Yeah, it's super comfortable. It's nice, huh? It's nice. I slept like a baby last night. He slept like a baby. That's good. Set, you heard it from him. He slept like a baby. So definitely go check that out. And we hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And when you are seeing this, the next the next video that you're gonna see is the extreme bathroom makeover. Yay. That we are starting tomorrow. So we're gonna pack tonight. I'm gonna do a behind the scenes of that. So we are both going. Kinsley's not going though. <laughs> Hit the like button. If you <laughs> if you like this vlog and we will see you guys next week. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Look up from your telescope. Take me on this journey home. Yeah. Right it's Jimmy. She doesn't care about me.